That's, right. You got to keep your eyes on the prize. They done threw all kinds of stuff in the front of us. You know what I'm saying? He's like, get this. Get that. Go for the Cadillac. Go for the big job. Be a congressman. Be that. Be that. Be everything but free, man. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. And you, if you don't keep your eyes on the prize... You know, you're going to get all tricked up and you're going to end up. What's the prize? Exact freedom. Freedom is the prize. Okay, but okay. Let me ask you this. Freedom, is a, okay. freedom from the bankers. Yeah, Coot de Kente was on the Enterprise, too. We're in weird glass. Uh, <laughs> uh, my, point, my point is, can you still be free without no money? Can you be free with can no you money? Can you be free with no money? Can you can't be free with money. Now, I but I'm saying, can you be free with no money? I'd rather be free with money than free without money. I mean, unfortunately, anywhere it go, they're going to still regulate and they still going to hold you down. No, no, look, I'm going to tell you, they try to kick... we can't, we don't own anything to take on ourselves. Look, they tried to kick us some bones uh, a little while back. They, remember the words, affirmative action? You know, the, the policy and program that seeks to regress... Affirmative action meant nothing. Regress is seek to regress past discrimination through active measures to ensure equal opportunity uh, as in education and employment. They had affirmative action. Affirmative action only pushed us 12 steps back. Nope. You know what happened? You know it what didn't, happened? It didn't, it didn't move us no further ahead. It well, pushed us the bad it thing. Pushed, it pushed us to the back of the line, really. No, the bad thing about affirmative action, if they set aside 5% of you, it's 5% for you to have. Like, the blacks get 5%. That meant that 95% was going to the whites. You understand what I'm saying? And then they usually didn't even meet the 5% thing, the quota. But again, that's what I say. Affirmative action did not do anything so, for us. But then things got a little uptight. Things got a little tight, and they said, and then the white folks started saying, this, this, yeah, this is reverse discrimination. You know, you done reversed everything on me now. So basically, affirmative action is like, I don't even know what happened to it. It's gone. Uh, California, they banned it completely. Yeah. And, uh, it wasn't no recourse for when when uh, the the real power infrastructure said this is how we gonna bark back. This is what we yeah, gonna yeah. do. And, and, and Ronald Reagan and George Bush they really started coming down on affirmative action and quotas and everything in the, in their administrations. And uh, then they they also came in with the drug but, war, with the but, drug but, war and prisons for profit. At the same time that they were bringing down quotas and affirmative action. But, but, and, but yeah, I'm sorry I cut you off, but just just how you're saying right now, it was still the same thing because do this and get these breaks, get these tax breaks, get this. You get all these incentives for putting one brown person around all these all, all, all these other people. Um, so it 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 was BS from the beginning, but. It did. It, it really helped those who it thought like, they had a shot at the American dream. But that was just uh, that's just that that's that's crazy. Just like they show them uh planes running to the building. It's all something yeah. to keep man preoccupied. Why yeah. they keep you keep getting no Vaseline? Basically. Yeah, yeah. Basically, it's got, all an illusion. They got you bent over, baby. It's all an illusion. I know they got me bent over. I'm feeling it bad up in here in this house. <laughs> you feel me? I want to see my grandkids and everything, and I can't even make a move, man. That's how much money I got. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, and they shake, they start suddenly sending letters to the house trying to shake me down for even more money. You know, uh, Ray Golf, are you there? Yeah, I'm supposed to see what I was doing, on, motherfuckers. Oh, <laughs> okay, that must have been uh, somebody. Wow. Somebody from the administration. <laughs> All right, just He's not free. He's not free. Yeah. He's not free. He is free. Well, uh, anyway. He needs a piece of milk, Bob. We we just had we just had the anniversary of nine one one. I mean, ten years after. You know, is America a better place? You know, is the is dream is the dream still alive in people? That's all I'm asking. Even though it was hype, who's still feeling it? You know, I mean, call in somebody to tell me, tell me that the dream is still alive, that you're still feeling it. You know, if you're a Mexican or whatever, 
and you feeling like I can make it here, I want to hear somebody say it's still alive. Where's Crow? Where's Crow? I don't. I don't feel like I, I, I feel like I could try to tread some water or try to maintain, but 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 uh, ain't it? You, I can't make it. Before you make it, they gonna take it, and yeah. before you make it, they gonna eliminate your ass. Right. Get on Schwarzenegger to call in. He he, he made the American dream. <laughs> yeah, I've been looking on the uh, on the websites, and they got Arnold Schwarzenegger listed as the next president. Wow. <laughs> they got him listed as the 45th president right uh, behind Barack Obama. And he, and he can't spell United States. Ain't that a bitch? Oh, okay. Right. Yeah. Oh, and, uh, you got to watch that language uh, on the radio. But uh, oh, sorry. I'm just saying, is America a better place, you know, when uh, when – all of us, including grandmothers and young children, must either go through a body scanner that reveals the intimate details of our naked bodies or ensure an enhanced pat-down or do an enhanced pat-down during which our genitals will be touched in order to get on an airplane. You, you know, uh, Kevin Allen, are you there? Caller? Oh, sorry, when I am, I had a microphone issue. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, uh, listen, I got a question. And, you know, um, first of all, I got to say the white man's watching the back man's black because I've been screen calling uh, and catching most of these scumbags that are trying to hijack your show. So Amen. I, got, I appreciate that. Uh, but I do have a serious question, uh, and it's bothered me for a long time, and you've just sparked it because I've had a lot of black friends. I've had a lot of colors uh, as friends. And it. Do it through the regular mic. Oh, okay. Here, I'm going to shut this off when I am. I didn't realize I was wired. I'll the call and keep talking on them. Uh, oh, yeah. So here I am, a uh, little clearer. We're getting echoes. I, I apologize. But uh, when I hear a black person call themselves nigger, and I only use the word because you did, um, don't you think that you're taking away your own freedom? Uh, it, you know, it's so offensive, and it is an offensive word. How can you uh, use it? in regards to yourself and your own people and say, you know, that, that you're struggling to achieve freedom. You're locking the door on well, yourself. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just describing our situation, you know. Uh, but, and, and I mean, don't you think, not between you and I, obviously, but between if we were going to make a line between black and white, if the black man uses the word to describe himself, then it's accepted. But if the white man does it, it's not accepted. That's the same word play we see our president using that we don't agree on. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, some clarification and maybe not right. using the word at all by anybody w would be the way to uh, get a little closer to that freedom that you we're... You know what? It's, it's, it's not really about the word. It's about the thought. It's about the mind behind uh, what's going on. You could never use the word again, but people still feel the same way. You know? And... and she might as well go ahead and use the word. You know, I'm not afraid of any words, uh, per se. It, uh, it's kind of like when I call myself an asshole. It takes away your power to call me one. Yeah, it really does, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I nothing. just, you know, I, I never understood that. Uh, you know, how, yeah. how we could ever think white people, because uh, I don't think anyone should call anybody that unless they are one. And I've met white, you know. Well, I really, I really didn't call anybody that, but I'm just saying that, you know, like, like I said, go ahead. I mean, you know, and again, not between you and I, because, I mean, we, we think pretty close to alike on how you should treat people. But I, if you t took the stereotypical white man and black man, um, shouldn't they both use the same words uh, and have the same meaning for those words? I don't, I don't, yeah, I, I, I'm, you're free to use nigger if, if, if that's what you want to use. Yeah, but, uh, yeah. I mean, but we still have that power struggle. I mean, you must agree that if a white man came down through your neighborhood right now and started saying "nigger," he might not come out the other side without bullet holes. Yeah, some people would uh, be really opposed to that. Just that the other his white friend. Yeah, you know exactly. Exactly. I, I agree with that. That out there because I think that it hinders that freedom that we're all looking for. I, I think it keeps that line of decision between if we were going to make a line. Between. Yeah. 
Uh, Joey Diamond, are you there? Yeah, I'm here, brother. What's going on? Hey, not a whole lot. Uh, you want to make some comments on this subject? Uh, no, I just wanted to hear a little clearer, and if I had something to say, I wanted to be right to jump. <laughs> oh, okay, well, we'll just... Guys are tearing it up. I, I, I made one little statement in the chat room saying I didn't realize it was so crude here, and I, I got uh, Sarah Connor telling me it's not. I don't, is, she, is she new, or is she part of your crew? Uh, she's she's a part of one of my listeners, okay. Sarah Carter. Right on. Yeah, yeah, I'm just playing around, Sarah. I'm a big joker. I was just playing. I, you're doing a great okay. job tonight. I'm really enjoying your show. Well, thank you. Uh, hang in there, Crow. Uh, I mean, uh, Joey Diamond, we're going to the Crow. The Crow, are you there? I'm here, man. I'm on. I, How you doing? I, I want to hear. I, I'm doing great, man. I want to hear you tell me about that American dream, man. I tell me that it's still alive and that... Everybody can can get on and get it, man. That everything ain't okay. I want to tell you something, Juan. Yeah. You're one of the luckiest men that I've ever met in my life. Well, you really are. I could agree with because that. Because I, I, if you didn't have Debbie, I don't know what you'd do. <laughs> right. I really don't. Right. She is. She is the stabilizer for your ship. She's uh, the engine. She's the st- stern. She's the. She's all of it. You know She's what? got her head so on straight, and here you are. No, I don't. No, I don't. I mean, I like I, me and him. We debate all the time, though. We debate about different well, things yeah. all day long. Yeah, but, we had a screaming match last night about what were we talking about last night? Last night, what were we talking about? Oh, voting. We were we were discussing oh, voting, 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 voting last voting night. Was any good so you know, I guess I mean you know what people people is I mean everybody is interpret things in their own way. Nobody's actually right and nobody's actually wrong. You understand what I'm saying? It's all about how you interpret things. And I mean, That's you can't exactly say I'm right. right and you can't say I can't say he's wrong. I can't say anybody that caused is wrong. All you can do is listen to what people are saying and respect what they're saying because everybody has an opinion. And everybody has a thought process of how it should go. And maybe you can learn something from what other people are saying sometimes. And maybe you can. I mean, and it's good to actually debate. A, a healthy debate is good for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I agree. I agree with that totally. But the problem is, is one, I mean, he, he is just wants to live in the past all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's a, that, he, he's, you know, he's like a... He's not in the past. He well, just, no, no, he just like, like controversial subjects. Crow you know? Well, yeah. Crow thinks, Crow thinks the things that I'm talking about, prisons for profit, <laughs> uh, war all over the planet and everything. But it is an actual are, and factual of today's comments of are, today. Are, that are in the past. He, he's seeing a whole different situation than I'm seeing. Well, well, Juan, I, let me I, ask you something. Let me ask you something, Juan. Yeah. Uh, you retired from a, a good job with General Motors, am I correct? Yes, sir. You draw a pension. Yeah. Okay. I mean, <clears throat> how much more American dream would the average person want? I mean, that that seems to me like that was a pretty good deal. Yeah, that was a pretty good deal, you know. But this well, is then, one more question. If you could change everything in America to your particular idea of how it would be, what would it be? Yeah. Oh, man, you know, I would have to really sit down and study that, you know what I mean? I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so uh, engrossed in the, in the problems and the issues of America today that oh. I haven't, I haven't oh. really sat down uh, like and television. thought of what I would do if I could change, you know, because I just don't have that power and that muscle. You know, I can't even wake people up to, to help me uh, change the Look, things I, I want to If change. we would just all adopt a together, we're all, look, we're all in this together, whether we want to, uh, you know, bump shoulders or fight each other or do all of that. This is an America for all of the people. Our Slavery has been going on for from the beginning of time. And America tried to correct this wrong while slavery is still going on in the rest of the world more than it ever has before in history. Slavery is still going on in America. Nobody wants to talk about that. All they want to talk about is America's past in slavery. We don't talk about America's past, bro. We talk about American slavery today. Uh, well, a door, America left a door open, a back door for slavery through the criminal justice system. And then they run the criminal justice system to target blacks and to railroad them, the majority, right back into slavery again. 